Scott, thank you. A popular selfie spot in Buffalo is at the center of a copyright controversy. News Force Patrick Ryan is looking into this greetings from Buffalo mural mess. We call it the city of good neighbors. In this case, I would think it's more like the city of litigious neighbors. There is no defense, okay? Um, he's admitted uh, to using the image. Artist Casey Milbrand's Greetings from Buffalo mural has become a huge attraction for Buffalonians to show off their Queen City pride. Now it's at the center of a copyright infringement battle between its artist and a small business owner. Without any announcement, I just got a $5,000 bill in the mail. So um, I thought that was interesting. I, I was kind of surprised. I didn't know what to do. Mark Moscato owns Buffalo Bike Tours. He leads his customers by bicycle to Queen City landmarks. His tour used to stop for a photo op at Milbrand's Greetings from Buffalo Mural on Ellicott Street. Moscato featured those photos on his website and was slapped with an invoice from Milburn to pay up or face legal action. As an arts administrator, I have a master's degree in arts management. Um, I strongly believe that artists should be compensated for their work. But um, that does not mean that you could go around sending like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of invoices without even any kind of discussion about uh, the uses of images. Stuart Shapiro represents Millbrand and says Moscato is bullying his client over email. Moscato says he has no plans of paying up and is willing to go to court. Personal use, somebody snapping a picture in front of this mural, Mr. Millbrand has no problem with that. Where he has a problem is when you take a copyrighted image and start using it for commercial purposes. And on this case, there is a copyright notice right on the mural. Shapiro tells me this whole ordeal has caused his client a lot of stress. As for the future of the mural, the building manager where the piece was painted says he's keeping his options open and that painting it over isn't out of the question. In the studio tonight, Patrick Ryan, News 4.